A path of destruction is being cleared away slowly in the Campbell River area after that vicious windstorm that damaged homes and cars and boats last week. And there is still plenty of work to do, weeks of it, of cleanup ahead. And insurance companies say the storm swept them off their feet. One company says it generated 30% of its annual claims business in a single day. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. It's already been a solid week and a half of climbing and sawing by employees of Campbell River's tree services. They're still cleaning up from that massive windstorm. Oh, we just run off our feet. Oh, yeah, that big storm. It's the busiest time of the year anyway, but then with that big storm, it really put us behind. Lulu Tingle is assisting outside today, but was inside taking a flood of phone calls as the trees were falling. The phone didn't stop ringing, didn't stop at all, not all day. 26 emergency calls, uh, people with trees on their cars, houses, uh, people that couldn't get out of their driveways to uh, get one woman to a hospital, all kinds of things. Tingle says the company was already behind, but now the storm means it's going to take some time to catch up. Probably another four weeks of good work. Really? Yeah. A good time to be in the tree business. Great time. <laughs> Insurance companies are also still scrambling from what's being called a catastrophic event. The event generated a uh, total of about 30 percent of our annual claims volume we, we took within about 24 to 48 hours of that storm. What we're primarily observing are reports of wind damage to roofing, trees falling on fencing, decks, roofs and vehicles. Claims were generated at each of the Vancouver Island Insurance Center's 13 offices, but the bulk were from the Campbell River and Comox Valley areas. The company is hoping most claims will be covered. Understandably, the circumstances surrounding each claim is unique, but we're very confident that the adjusters that we have uh, on the claims and the insurers are working to ensure that policies are responding fairly and as the coverages were intended. But one Campbell River man knows damages to his property won't be covered. That's because this damage was caused not by the storm, but by motorists who decided to use his lawn as a detour during the storm. The road was blocked out here <clears throat> and people from up the road decided to use our driveway to connect to the next driveway and go through our yard. Don't know exactly how many. Lancaster will now be footing the bill himself. He said he'd appreciate knowing who's responsible for tearing up his property, but doubts he'll ever find out. I'm not too impressed. You know, was it that important to go through? Oh, well, it'd be nice someone would acknowledge it, you know, say I'm sorry, you know, we, for whatever reason. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Campbell River.